Hi everybody, this is John Abel. This is the fourth movie for uh, November 18th. Um, essentially, I'm just uh, uh, packing up the show for the evening, but I wanted to show you the results I got uh, after twisting both ends of the wire as far as I could. Um, there seemed to be physical limits about how far I could twist this wire, um, and after a while, as I approached you know, the 90 degree twist mark, um, you know, this wire just started to snap off at certain spots. So it, it becomes structurally quite strong at a certain point or at a certain uh, angle. Um, so at, at that point, you're not going to get much more energy or not be able to feed much more energy into this thing. So I think I've reached short of, and, <laughs> and again, I can't say I've reached all the limits because you can add more waveforms or increase the the resonant waveforms within within this wire system to to add more energy into it so there are ways to do it uh however uh in terms of the physical limits of the wire i i don't believe that this can can uh can go much further and i'm not going to even try um i think it's time to uh to move on to some other experiments in regards to this uh however i did want to show you the structure of this you can obviously see that uh, this uh, twisting mechanism is, is causing weakness zones along certain axes and, and causes the wire to bend in certain spots. Uh, it's, it seems to be a natural occurrence, uh, this singularity stuff. Uh, so and I, I guess I, I can't get too overly uh, excited about it because it does appear to be a, a, a natural occurrence. Um, you can see how many I got out of it. It looks like I got about nine, eight, uh, nine loops out of uh, nine armatures out of the uh, entire structure or out of the power <clears throat> that was released during the singularity. Uh, so I, I think that's pretty good. I think that's a good start. And that should give me uh, at least a, a, a pretty good resonant picture of what kind of antenna this is uh, when I start uh, uh, pu putting energy through it or putting radio waves through this. I'm going to start with lower energy uh, radio waves and you know low power and things like this. But I re really would like to see an effect or what, what this thing really is capable of doing. So um, I think it's time that we tried. Um, I believe it will resonate at certain uh, wavelengths that have been designed essentially into this system based on the amount of energy that I stored up into the wire and the amount that I released when, when I created it. Um, so this was my creation, but I didn't have to do all the bending myself. I only had to make one horizontal move to create this effect. So uh, that's my story. I'm going to shut her down for the evening, but thanks everybody. Um, and I hope, uh, I hope we can uh, get even more information out of this before we start building our, uh, our um, warp nacelles. But this is actually one component of a warp nacelle. So I believe this will represent the first of many in a series. Uh, we will probably start with one or two uh, to, to test the effects of that and then move on further from that. But right now we're in the early stages and you, you can see essentially that I didn't bend this wire this way. Um, it just bent itself that way. Um, so thanks again, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.